Hello folks, and welcome to another episode of the Captain's Academy. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Assault Frigate Malevolence. Malevolence is the successor to the Retribution program, also a Assault Frigate, wherein with the Malevolence the experience was taken that was acquired from the Retribution and applied to this build. Originally I had planned to just replace the blueprint, but there's a number of significant changes to warrant its own. And some people may prefer to have the older build with its uh, drastically different bridge configuration. So some of the improvements of this model over the previous one is we have additional turret placements on the bottom as well as on the side of the ship. I think it was totaling something around uh, additional 12 turret placements. I did make some additional place on the top deck for a few more there as well. And one of the bigger things, a requested feature, was to have some mounted weapons that would be closer to the player's position, thereby allowing them to give uh, precision fire. So those improvements have been made. And one of the other things with the upgrade, or this successor malevolence over the Retribution, is that Retribution had a shortcoming of reverse thrust. So that has been drastically improved with the addition of two more drive thrusters as well as strafe being beefed up a little bit with an additional advance and the forward thrust configuration has been changed to include or rather has been reconfigured from two drive and four advance to a four drive configuration so overall should see additional significant thrust most notably in reverse uh, so one of the uh complaints I guess you could say is that the the reverse thrust was lacking and required for disengaging combat so that issue has been resolved on top of this it also does have a number of other improvements such as a little bit more cargo space so first let's take a look at upgrading our CPU it will be coming in at a spawn of core 8 so Essentially the same as the previous model, the Retribution. So same process here as we just take this block out and we'll place our remaining. And beyond that, if you want to, you can utilize this space for additional CPU, whether it's uh, Quantum or Auxiliary. Or maybe for vanilla players, you might want to use a space for perhaps additional cargo or fuel tanks. Now, this whole compartment is reinforced with Xeno and combat, so consider it a, uh, a castle if you're looking to secure some or protect some cargo. That would be an ideal spot. Uh, moving forward to the ship, uh, let's take a look at over here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our uh, repair bay. So, a lot like the previous model, just look for the center cut out there. And now what you want to do with this uh, repair bay itself, uh, it'll be at your discretion. Uh, maybe a good placement right there. So you can have a visual on the, the build that you need to repair. All right, moving forward, let's take a look at our generator houses. Essentially unchanged here. Um, same thing. Uh, Maybe some people haven't noticed before, but there is a toggle between the two factions here. So if you're Imperial, boom, you get your toggle there. If you want to, you can go Rebel Alliance. So number of options there. That was requested feature. Uh, I did have that on the Retribution as well. Um, so, okay. So here we are with our power generation. So again, much like the previous model same layouts so that will be your four advanced now as you start to pile on the the shield parts and additional mounted weapons you're going to run into some power generation issues so again here as with previously the center room could be utilized as a fusion reactor placement and so maybe at this point you you're good on power, so you can start walking back some of the advanced generators. At which point you could utilize this space for maybe some additional cargo if you want to do that. 
and should conclude our power generation issues. Now, so let's take a look here at our shield placement next. Malevolence has the same shield profile as its uh, predecessor, which is an 882 configuration. So this will mean two large shield parts. So here, this could also be additional placement for storage, if you would rather do that. Or for vanilla players, that's an option for you. Uh, so those are pretty much an easy find in regards to placement there. Uh, with the smaller ones and the medium-sized shields, those are going to be a little bit trickier if you're not paying attention. So with the medium-sized shield parts, that's going to be located here. Okay, so this is going to be another rotation. It's going to be kind of tricky. You might have to go outside in it in order to get the configuration. If, because sometimes it gives a little bit of uh, trouble trying to get that set up. So, so that's for four. Now, if we go back here, uh, this is an easier configuration to set to slide into because there's not there's a little bit more open space. So. Here, same thing, so just rotate so you get the orientation that you need. Uh, you can kind of pull back here to get an idea what the box looks like. So I think that's our configuration. So we've already placed those. Sometimes these are just a hassle. It tends to be that way with the bigger devices. Okay, so that would be our medium-sized shield parts taken care of, so let's move on to the smaller ones. Now these are kind of tucked away as well. There we go, that's four, and then over here. We just want to get these round blocks, take these out. That's going to be our placement. And there it is. So this whole area, this is our engineering, so uh, a, a good orientation is, uh, okay, so you've got the Imperial logo or Rebel logo, whatever you're doing here. And then we're just looking, just looking down this hallway, and it should be marked here, Shield Bank 2 for the smaller shield parts. Shield House for the medium-sized shield parts. And then Shield Array House for the largest shield parts. And, okay, so above here, this is our warp drive setting. Should be easy to look at if you need to upgrade it. And uh, on the opposite side, we have our shield generator. All right, moving along. So again, the, the step up here from the previous model of retribution allows for additional thrust options. So let's take a look at that. This is an easy tell. We just want to go ahead and remove the glowy blocks here. And I think we've, yeah, we've got to get rid of one layer. So the one layer and then the glowy blocks layer, and we should be good to slide in our thruster. Maybe we want to go for a full. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. And then maybe color it something other than red. I said color it. Things okay, <laughs> maybe we're not. Maybe this is a rebel alliance ship, <laughs> and we want some red. That's fine. <laughs> Moving along. All right, so same configuration here for strafe thrust. Uh, again, there's been an addition of a advanced thruster, so a little bit more for strafe and. To, would also add a little bit to agility in that regard. So, right. So here, same thing. One layer of glowy blocks and then one forward of that. And we also need to take up this half block. Let's see if we can... Okay. 
So our rotation is right. There we go. So same thing with uh, this one right here. Same process. Get rid of the one layer. Get rid of the glowy blocks. And then also you want to pull these half blocks. And then once all that's done, you're good to slot that in. So simple thing here with the advanced. Uh, so in any of these settings, don't push past the X. That's your breakpoint. And there it is. Right, so that's strafe. That's forward thrust. And now let's, let's look at our array of improved reverse thrusts. So this was a uh, really a, a big shortcoming with the retribution program. So we've doubled up on the drive thrusters for reverse. So now with a fully upgraded configuration, you should see some much better response when trying to disengage combat. Again, same thing here with what you were doing with the other thrust replacements. Go ahead and take your glowy block and your single block ahead of that, and you're going to be good to place it in. Okay, so that should conclude your reverse thrust. Now let's look at our lift thrust and, well, just generally the forward. So let's, okay, so if we're here at the hangar, we're going to be moving to the auxiliary room. And what we have here is a number of configurations that you can do. Uh, you'll be able to define the role of this ship. Is it more of a combat ship? Is it more of a general purpose ship? Uh, do you want a little bit more maneuverability? I'll, much of that can be configured here. So um, actually, let's double back. Let me go ahead and show you some of the, the smaller points of this ship here, uh, including the hydroponic placement. So if we go to the, this is the center section of the ship, this is, okay, so if, if we're at the hangar, we're going to take the turbo lift up, and that leads us here, so we have our hydroponics, and so what we can do, uh, we have placement for an 18 grow plot setting. Oops, that's one too many. Okay, so that'll work for either side. So that's your 18. Now we can go back to the auxiliary room and how that factors into it. So again, going over this, we're looking at a number of configurations. So we could take this nose and just stuff it with armor. Or we could take these outlined areas here and we could utilize this for farm space. Or we could provide an additional thrust setting for our ship. So let's go ahead and take a look at all these configurations. So now if we just want to leave it as a, uh, a farming ship, kind of like a general purpose ship, then we would just, just fill in all of these here, right? And at which point the... Oops. At, at which point the plus here... This is going to be for your grow plot light placement. So you get your farm stems and go ahead and drop those in, and that's going to take care of that. Now, if we want to do something else, let's say we want to go for a, a thruster configuration. We want to increase the agility of the ship, uh, some, some more lift. So what we could do is we're going to go here to the exterior of the ship and start removing where we see these little insets, the round insets, that's going to be the start of where you want to. Or, uh, you know, you could just do it from inside the ship. Same thing, so where it says T, that's going to be the marking for your your thruster. Okay, so that's going to be that. Now we're going to need to take some additional room here. Yeah, we should, should be able to take off these blocks we just want to keep pushing up until we get to our X marks the spot. Okay, so we're not going to want to push past that. That's going to be our break point. Again, just like the rest of our thrust replacement. So 
Right. So this will be good for some additional lift thrust, which will also help with the the nose incline. Now, if we want to go opposite that, we want uh, a little bit of nose down and uh, uh, dorsal thrust. We have two options here. Well, actually one option, which would be a, a double advanced thruster setting. So what we'd be looking at is we want to take these double bars here fire up the symmetry plane and we're going to keep pushing up just keep breaking these double bar symbol placements right so same thing here on the bottom and x again not going past that so now there it is just like that. So we've overall improved the agility of our ship. Fantastic. Now if we wanted to, you know, you could you could mix and match what you're doing with this area. So maybe we're fine with this. Maybe we just wanna just go ballistic on increasing all of the thrust values and then from here on out you just wanna armor up the room. So just get rid of everything and uh Yeah, so let me show you what our placement options are for that. So, you know, if you're... I guess you won't really need the use of the room, so you could just get rid of stuff even like the uh, ventilators. There would be no need for that. Maybe you don't need the lights anymore, right? There would be no need for you to have lights in an, an area that you're not accessing. So these double pin blocks with... We can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, probably a good idea to place some decoys here and there as you armor up the nose. Again, we're going to get rid of these lights. We don't need these. This area isn't going to be accessed, so we're just going to we're just going to go ahead and fill it up. Of course, you'd kind of want to have a sequence here. You not want to box yourself in. <laughs> yeah, so that's generally the uh, you get the gist of the idea here. Just keep keep walking back and and filling up the area as you go, and that's going to give you a, a pretty belligerent nose. So let's see here. So we're looking at all right. This is going to be our stopping point. So if we we zoom out. So we kind of get a good idea of everything forward of this line. Well, I guess including this line. That's going to be additional armor. Uh, you can put some decoys in, thrusters, a small generator. That sort of thing. Um, and it'll give you a little bit of staying power if your shield drop. Maybe not on the beefier side of some of the bigger warships, but it's something. Alright, so moving forward to the weapon loadout. Let's go ahead and get... Actually, let's bring that back. Where'd you go? Okay. Right. So, okay, taking a look at our weapons. So, turret placement. What you want to look for is the this cabinet texture here. That's going to be the mark. That's going to be the tail for turret placement. And maybe you just want to go ham and place wherever you can, but kind of worked out some optimum placement here just now I will have a couple tells here with uh, some of these round blocks there that'll be an easier guide to kind of give you an idea of where to start but past that it's just going to be like a cabinet texture that you want to look for mm -hmm. yeah, that should be a placement there maybe you want to can we get, uh, actually get two turrets there? I believe. Nah, that would spill over. So it's just the one there. Maybe that'd be a good spot for an artillery, actually. Um, okay, so that's kind of a, kind of a general layout for the top section. We have a couple more placements back here. We can go there. Um, we can get a three placement here. One, two. So this is new. 
I'll push this work back in order to accommodate that placement. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could just scrap that. If you like uh, artillery turrets, you can drop one there. Now, you could also put one here. Maybe you want to get rid of some of this block work. And just keep in mind the issue is if you do that, and if you're a first person player, that's going to give you uh, a. <laughs> not going to give you a, a good look. But, you know, looks cool if you're a third person. Pretty cool look. Okay. So, so we take that. Let's roll that back. That's fine right there, so. Let's just double check, make sure we haven't missed anything. And. Uh, okay, we got CPU issues. So, oh. <laughs> let's take a look at the CPU room. <laughs> Did I mention you could slot in auxiliary and quantum cores? Um, so it does accommodate, what was it, uh, I think it was, um, 4 level 32 if you're utilizing this top area here, if I'm not mistaken. So, a good number of cores between quantum and auxiliary, and for some servers that have additional CPU, that should, that should take a good accommodation. Um, right, so, back to turret placement. Okay, so this, yeah, these are two new areas here. So, if you want to, this could help out with drone defense. This forward one would contribute to board fire. So, we have something like that. That one could be good for drones or something. Right, uh, yeah, so this is the top. Now, the bottom has seen a good number of placement increases due to the reconfiguration. And it should be more substantial versus POIs. So, I think this was uh, previously a placement of just six. And that's almost essentially doubled. So we got all of this here. And in addition to that, there's a uh, compounding factor, which we'll go over here in a second. It has to do with the solar placement, how that was changed. And how that plays into the turret placement. So again, you know, just keep looking for those cabinet textures and keep plugging those. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, that should be just about it. So it's a good little suite there. If you want to delete a POI, the... The firepower on the bottom of the ship has been substantially increased. Let's go ahead and get this thing lifted up. Yeah, very much, very much more robust as far as the, the bottom suite. Again, some additions here on the side. Yeah, it's just nasty <laughs> for such a small platform. Okay, so. Now, let's look at the mounted weapons. Again, there's been some changes here. I did have to swap out... This was originally, I think, a, a try configuration And we had to trade out some of them. We uh, lost two, but we gained, uh, I think, an additional six. So, again, like with the retribution, uh, these antenna are going to be your forward placement. symmetry plane there. So we want to take out these antenna and then also we're going to clear the lane so that the rounds will be able to fire out. Yeah, don't overlook that. Alright. So I'll give us a a tin configuration right there. Now we have this one here. And so what's new is the bridge has been reworked. Again, we went over it previously, but 
So what this is going to do, this is going to allow for a little bit more precision for the player. Um, so sometimes what happens is in relation to the player's position, where the weapons are, that can cause, uh, I guess for lack of better description, like a, a bullet convergence issue. So the closer to the seats that the the weapons are, the more easy or the easier it is to uh, do precision fire. So, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty sick looking. But there it is. So maybe you'd want to have like your energy weapons on the outer setting, or maybe this one right here, and then for like the stuff, the weapons you want to snipe with. That could be more towards the bridge, so, you know, think like sniping a core, or leaving some cleaner incisions for your surgical strikes, and that's going to be your way to go. So, that should be the weapons concluded. Now let's go take a look at what's changed with the solar placement. So, as far as the solar placement, again... A lot like with the uh, previous devices, weapons, and stuff like that. Most of it's going to carry over from the the Retribution's placement. Now, there have been a couple more changes in regards to the size of the ship. Uh, this layout here, this was changed to accommodate a full-size solar suite. So that would be eight additional placement there. And what that's going to do with the... Retribution platform. Previously, we had a uh, either-or scenario for the bottom of the ship, where either the the bottom of it could be utilized for additional solar placement, or it had to. In and in the case that we did do that, it had to be cannibalized because we had some turrets down here that we had to choose. Either we keep the turrets, or we go ahead and rotate that to solar placement. So now that shouldn't be an issue. Now you should be able to utilize all the solar without having to dip into uh, those turret placements. All right, so that should be it for the top. And I'm not even sure we need to consume the pad there. So I would save that for last. I think we've got what we need on the rest of the ship. So let's make sure we've got our... Uh, I'm place these things. Let's make sure we got our... A right angle. So that's not right. I think we're at a 45. Is it this one? Hmm. Like, uh. It's maybe this one. It's just a rotation as well. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So. Right. So we're just gonna go take these blocks out. Take that. Um, take this one. Let's take these. Actually, we gotta take this one. That's what it is. These guys right here, and yeah, that's what it is. All right, <laughs> that's our placement. There it is. So this is. Uh, Solar panel sloped, uh, the second one. I think you could flip that over if you wanted to stay consistent with this color option. So let's see what we're looking at here. So, yeah, we want to. So we have like three layers of the thin blocks that we need to take off. So these right here, right? And then that center strip, we want to take off this block. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to remove these two, and that's going to open up our, our solar placement. Yeah, I'm not even sure we need to take that top row, actually. Yeah, we don't need to take that, I'm sorry. But leave this top row in, it's going to look better. You know, that'll uh, fuse it a little bit better, give you a better aesthetic. But let's look at the rotation, if this works out. Yeah, you could do that, too. So that would be more consistent with like an imperial color scheme, rather than having a solar panel show. So you could just rotate around and it's going to look much better. 
That's completely up to you. So same thing with the bottom. It's it's mirrored, so it's gonna be the same thing. So we want to we need we can leave these. We don't need to take these these little bits out. So I'm gonna take this layer, these two, that one. Alright, and these two right here. And there it is. It's our solar placement. I don't but what happened there? <laughs> Where are those bands at? Oh that's weird. I've never seen that. I didn't know that would just kind of disappear like that. Okay, so let's let's keep going. Let's verify our solar count on that. Go ahead and take these out as well. It's uh uh, solar installation portion of the video takes quite a while because uh, 48 solar panels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's quite a bit. All right, so let's say that's our top and our sides of the area complete. And we're going to roll this baby over so we can get a better look of what's going on on the bottom. She's rolling real slow. Probably has some CPU issues going on. Alright. So. Now we've had, again, we've had some changes since the previous build, the Retribution. And we shouldn't have to dip too much into the turret area. So let's go ahead and get with these smaller shield sections right here. So take these guys out and that's going to be a placement there. Uh, you should be bumping against the thrusters. You shouldn't have any blocks right there. So it should be a... Oops. So that would be a thrust there once you upgrade that area if you choose to. So it should be solar panels mirrored up... Or I'm sorry, connected to the... Um, the thruster. All right, so moving forward, let's go ahead and we've got a slot of two placements there for the smalls. Uh, yeah, so this these placements here, these are the small solar panels. I've been working the small since I rolled it over. Now, let's go ahead and finish off our large solar real quick. Get that out of the way and see what we need left for the small. Oops. Sneaky little thin block. Okay, so that. I wish there was some way to configure like a a one button removal for all of this. It'd be much easier. Somehow if there was a way to group the blocks. Right, so that's it. For this little area here, you should have four large and two small. So moving forward to the side section here, uh, again we shouldn't have to dip into that center area. So let's just go ahead and continue to take these out. And that's one, and that should be placement for too large here. Don't worry about the the holes in the bottom there that's going to be placement for LCDs and stuff so if you see some holes there um, <laughs> didn't have to worry about that unless you've gone too far and maybe accidentally deleted some of them alright so going forward here there's that and this area here, this is going to be for, it should fulfill our small solar placement right here. Oops. Right, that should conclude that. Now for large. There, okay, so yeah, we've, we've fulfilled our large. We've got plenty of space left over here. So large is filled out, how about small? Okay, we still need small. So, 
what we can do is let's see let's see the areas that we filled up already. So now what we got is this back section here. This would have been for our additional large solar panels, but since we were able to get that distributed through the addition of this side area here, we could now utilize that for small solar placement. So we just would want to rotate like that. Oops. It's fine there. And that would place some of those. Now, last area we have, that way we don't have to start working into here. Well, I guess we could actually. This is also placement. So if we want to go between. So there's that. And... Again, don't don't stress over that. That's the LCD placement. So if you see that, there's completely completely natural. All right, so that would fulfill everything. That's it. So at this point, you know, again, before with the retribution, it was an either or scenario. If we wanted to fulfill all of the solar placement, we'd have to cannibalize these placements here. So now those can stay. So with those turrets there, in addition to the new placements here. Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty deadly versus POIs. <laughs> or if you just want to hover over the top of a CV and, and delete it. So, uh, yeah, that's quite nasty. Let's look at our bird count right now as it is. Uh, that's uh, 62 laser and uh, yes. Yeah, wow, okay, so that sh that's over 70. It's over 70 turrets, so that's gone up quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. Are we missing something else? Okay, so we do have a dedicated tel uh, teleporter placement, and let me show you what's going on with the constructor placement before we go ahead and conclude this video. All right. So, same thing with the with this build as far as it was in regards to retribution with the constructor placement. So we can see here this is our guideline. Um, yeah, that's an easy easy get right there. Uh, the additional placement here is if we want to take this pin block here, that, and then we could rotate it. And that would be our placement. Uh, opposite side, if we want to, we'd take these two out. Same thing. Get rid of the grates and the thin blocks, and that'll conclude your constructor or deconstructor placement, whatever you got going on. And last thing is going to be the teleporter placement. So dedicated spot is here. So if we're looking at the bridge, it's going to be at the back left. Uh, if you're looking from the front. So we have our color schemes here. Now before we dive into the solar placement, let's go ahead and show you how that works. So if we want to change the color, what we're going to do is copy this numerical value here, control C. And we're looking at the ship. We go hit configure with the paint tool out. So with this top area, top left area clicked, hold down shift, left click. Since we have our numerical value copied, we're going to go ahead and hit paste. Then we're going to hit OK. And that will apply the color change. So now we have a Rebel Alliance branding, flagging. And if we want to, then we're just going to go ahead and we want to stay to the theme, toggle out the LCD, and there it is. Now, if we want to, we, we're ready, we know what our color configuration is, we're good with that. Um, you could move this to somewhere else in the bridge. Uh, this color will be on the workshop post, so if you lose that, you want to get rid of these LCDs to make space for something else, maybe some crew or something like that. Then go ahead and stop by the workshop post and you'll be able to retrieve that color configuration.
So, teleporter placement right there. Okay, now we have the sensor set up that's already rigged, so all you need to do, hit the P button, signal logic, scroll down to teleport. There it is. Now, it's set up to only work if you step on it. And just like that, Captain's Academy completed. Malevolence, the successor to the Retribution program. Very substantial upgrade in terms of thrust, firepower, a little bit of additional storage. Nice change to the solar configuration as well. All right, folks, that's going to do it. Till next time, Life Force out. Hey, folks, if you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a patron today. As a patron, you gain access to exclusive builds not featured on the workshop, early access builds, as well as participate in a number of things, including polls, feedback, comments, suggestions, ideas, or anything you'd like to submit to current and future builds. If any of this appeals to you, please consider becoming a patron today. Link in the pinned comment below. Thank you.